Okay, going to do a uh, book review for you fellow cinematographer dreamers just like I am. Um, I was lucky enough to find this book in uh, a used bookstore in downtown Santa Rosa. Uh, it's the American Cinematographer Manual from the American Society of Cinematographers, the Ninth Edition, Volume 2. Uh, what's pretty sweet is, is basically, uh, has a breakdown on all the cinema cameras that you can use. Film, of course, no digital. Um, nothing wrong with digital, but film is still where it's at, in my opinion. Like, you have the, uh, Airycam Studio, that full list of breakdown, even, you know, how, uh, how loud it runs 20 decibels not really that loud uh, give shutter breakdown viewfinder breakdown uh, schematics on how to run the film so if you ever come across um, a film camera and you're not quite sure how to use it I mean if you're lucky enough but it's still cool because it's full of uh, geek stuff that you can really geek out on Aeriflex SL35 No, and it has it broke down in uh, 35 millimeter section. You got your very flex 535. Let's see, a lot of 35 millimeter cameras. The Photosonic 35 millimeter E 4ER schematic still. Then you got your 16 Super 16. You have your Aiden A Minima. Super 16 only gives weight breakdown. Just basically uh, camera gear, Airflex 16. I believe they use some sort of Airflex on The Walking Dead to give it a more grainy look because they shot The Walking Dead in film. Uh, almost all films were shot in film until um, The Force Awakens Star Wars in 2002, was the first completely digital. Uh, movie, the old fashioned Mitchell, uh, still on 16 millimeter cameras. Okay, now we got the big guys here, the 65 millimeters, got the Mitchell 65, uh, the venerable uh, Panavision 65 that was used in uh, The Hateful Eight, one of my favorite movies. Well, not favorite movies, but really, really liked it. Really, really, li I was lucky enough to be in Las Vegas to see the uh, 2.71 1 to 1 ratio, uh, no, 2.74 to 1 ratio, large screen in film. Uh, I was lucky enough to be at the Wexner Center at Ohio State to see uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey in 70 millimeter print. And you have IMAX. IMAX was invented in the 70s. Most people don't know that. I think it was a recent thing. And it has a complete breakdown of IMAX cameras. Then you have these test lists and lenses breakdown and diopters. So many schematics so many equations and if you go back here they have a full list of uh, depth of field charts so uh, easy for you to calculate now different focal lengths um, different techniques for color balancing uh, film stock reviews Shadow Anger Compensator. Whole bunch of schematics. And that's it. Uh, if you could find this, if you're lucky enough, it's a pretty cool book. If you ever aspire or dream to shoot a film with film, uh, in your amateur level and you don't have a big company, because uh, most of the Panavision cameras you can't even get unless you rent directly from Panavision. 
and they don't even list the prices so if they don't list the prices this probably means that it's very expensive but you can try it one day for yourself